Did you know that Shailene Woodley sometimes eats clay? Or that she refuses to take photos with fans? Keep watching for all the details of the actress's shady side. Thanks to Shailene Woodley's infamous 2014 Into the Gloss interview, fans were inundated with headlines like, Celebrity Fact Check, Does Your Vagina Really Need Vitamin D? According to the expert Women's Health interviewed for this particular piece, Woodley's practice of spending an hour exposing her privates to the sun to prevent various vaginal issues could be more harmful than helpful. It actually could lead to a sunburn on a very sensitive part of the body, and even potentially cause skin cancer. Woodley also told Into the Gloss, Clay is one of the best things you can put in your body. She claimed that it cleanses the body of metals. She got this tidbit of health advice from a random taxi driver and advised her fans to talk to their taxi cab drivers about what treatment options might be right for them. But a medical expert told HuffPost, removing metal from the body is not necessarily good. In fact, long-term consumption of clay could have negative side effects. According to WebMD, it might also cause lead poisoning, muscle weakness, intestinal blockage, skin sores, or breathing problems. It's also safe to guess that most medical professionals would not endorse Woodley's healthcare plan, which seems more suitable for a witch living in the deep woods than a celebrity with access to world-class medical care. She even told Flaunt in 2013, I make my own medicines. I don't get those from doctors. You're not being serious, right? No, I am being serious. Some of Shailene Woodley's alternative health habits come with unwanted side effects. She told Into the Gloss, When you first start eating clay, your bowel movements, pee, and even you yourself will smell like metal. Funny enough, actor Miles Teller probably would have preferred for Woodley's mouth to have a metallic taste when they were filming makeout scenes for their 2013 movie The Spectacular Now. He told Vulture, She would take these herbal supplements, and they tasted like crap, and she would always eat them right before we had a kissing scene. He described the supplements in more detail to Variety, saying, It's like a dirt pouch, and it smells Else. Their on-screen smooches had the potential to be even worse for Teller if they were shot after lunch. While talking to Bon Appetit about her passion for fermented foods, Woodley said, I sort of love that semi-rotten flavor, too. Oh, and when it comes to oral hygiene, she doesn't floss. In a 2019 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, she revealed that she swishes sesame oil around in her mouth instead. When Time asked Shailene Woodley if she was a feminist in 2014, her answer landed her in hot water. She responded, No, because I love men, and I think the idea of raise women to power, take the men away from the power, is never going to work out because you need balance. And when it comes to achieving equality between the sexes, she placed the fault on women to change their behavior, suggesting they are holding each other back. She shared, I don't know how we as women expect men to respect us because we don't even seem to respect each other. Woodley's views were an op-ed magnet, with some writers suggesting that she didn't fully understand what a feminist is. The title of a Jezebel article read, Shailene Woodley has some thoughts on feminism and they are not good. And Bustle argued, There is nothing about feminism or the ideals behind it that even point to there being some sort of need for men to lose power in order for women to have it. Interestingly, Woodley told the New York Times in 2017, I would today consider myself a feminist. Allure took issue with what she said next. She added, We will start introducing a type of matriarchy, which is what this world needs. The outlet pointed out that this is contrary to the feminist call for equality as it seems to suggest that women should have power over men. Two years after the final movie in the Twilight franchise hit theaters, Shailene Woodley starred in her own film series based on a series of young adult books, Divergent. Because Divergent and Twilight had a crossover target audience, maybe it wasn't the best idea to slam the latter. Woodley told Teen Vogue in 2014, Twilight, I'm sorry, is about a very unhealthy, toxic relationship. She falls in love with this guy, and the second he leaves her, her life is over and she's going to kill herself. What message are we sending to young people? Oddly, Woodley later told E! News that she was pleased that her Divergent character was being compared to Bella Swan. She said, It's totally flattering just to be compared to characters like that. Strong, confident women. That's a compliment, right? But Woodley would even later disparage the movie that was earning her such praise. She said of Divergent in a 2019 interview with The Daily Beast, That particular project was very demanding because we had a deadline to turn out a product, so the creativity levels involved weren't as high as they could have been. Two years earlier, she told The Daily Beast that after Divergent, that she wasn't interested in spreading herself out with franchises. That's why she, apparently, didn't audition for Fifty Shades of Grey, a film based on Twilight fanfiction. I would like to bite that lip. I think I'd like that, too. Shailene Woodley doesn't keep up with the Kardashian-Jenners. When Sugarscape spoke to her about some of the biggest pop culture stars of the day in 2015 via Cosmopolitan, she was unable to fulfill the outlet's request to make a face like Kylie Jenner posing for a selfie, saying, I have no idea who that is, I'm sorry. But in her defense, she didn't seem to be into selfie culture at the time. That same year, she spoke to ET about why she isn't on social media, saying, I feel like I don't have time, and your poor thumb, the dexterity of your fingers, to constantly be scrolling on your phone. 
At one point in time, Woodley didn't have to worry about resisting the temptation to doom scroll like the rest of us when away from home because she didn't have a device to do it on. She actually told the Daily Beast in 2017, I'm not a big technology person. I don't even have a smartphone. I don't even have a cell phone. But she did eventually give in to Instagram's allure and create an account. She even takes selfies. Kylie shouldn't feel too offended about Woodley having no clue who she is. After seeing Joseph Gordon-Levitt in a movie for the first time around 2011, Woodley told Glamour that she called her agent and said, "'There's this guy you have to represent. He's such a talented actor. I can't believe no one knows about him.'" Shailene Woodley told The Daily Beast in 2014, "'I don't watch TV, and I never have. But let's rewind back to 2009 when the actor spoke to the TV chick. Woodley confessed that while she didn't tune in all the time, she was watching Project Runway and Top Chef, adding, "'I watch every episode of Glee. I love it.'" She broached the topic of her viewing habits again while on the red carpet at the 2017 Emmys, an event that celebrates achievements in television. Woodley dissed fans of the very medium that earned her an invite by implying there's a better use for one's free time. She told E! News, "...all my friends who watch TV, I, I always just ask them when they have time to. When do people have time to?" <laughs> To be fair, she added that it's just her personal preference, saying, "'I'm a reader, so I always read a book instead of turning on my TV.'" Ironically, Woodley had received a nomination in the Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Limited Series or Movie category for her work on Big Little Lies. She lost the Emmy to her co-star Laura Dern, and if Woodley didn't have any time to read the comments on Twitter, it was probably for the best. Her red carpet remarks earned her a thorough roasting. One critic tweeted, "'Why would you spend your life creating something you yourself find useless, Shailene Woodley?' Another wrote, "'Maybe she should read some pilot scripts, given how her film career has been going.'" Imagine that you're just a regular guy who gets photographed covertly, becoming the unwitting subject of a tabloid article. This is what happened to a man whom the Daily Mail mistook for Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers in November 2021. The Daily Mail claimed that its pictures of the guy were proof that Rodgers, who had tested positive for COVID-19, was breaking quarantine. Instead of simply denying that the lookalike was her then fiance, Shailene Woodley made certain that the poor man couldn't be flattered by the mistake. For a post on her Instagram story, she went full-blown NFL analyst by circling the man's feet and sketching arrows pointing at them, and wrote, "'I know Aaron's body very well. First off, his feet, ahem, and no offense to this rando dude, are a lot bigger.'" She used a winking emoticon to make it clear that she was also referencing another body part. To add to the man's mortification, she shared the Daily Mail's photo of him sitting in his car and wrote, "'Also, cute car dude, but Aaron would never drive this.'" The identity error came after Rogers shared that he didn't receive the COVID-19 vaccine, which led to speculation about Woodley's vaccination status. After all, she did tell Flaunt that she mixes medicine herself instead of going to the doctor. But according to The Hollywood Reporter, one of the shows she was filming around that time had a vaccination requirement. One of Shailene Woodley's first big television roles was on the ABC Family, now Freeform series, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. There were signs early on that her pregnant teen character's journey wasn't going to play out the way Woodley wanted it to. She told the TV chick in 2009, "'Well, the first season, I was just like, please let her smile, because every day I'd read the script and be like, oh, I have to cry again tomorrow.'" Bustle argued that the series was more conservative than Woodley would have liked, and seemed to advocate for teens to abstain from premarital sex. While Woodley didn't single out any specific issue she had with the show, she told Interview Magazine in 2013, "'It got to the point where I felt like there was kind of a conflict in terms of what I was preaching to the world and what I actually believed as a human, which was rough." She echoed this sentiment to Bustle in 2020, saying, "'Legally, I was stuck there. To this day, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do.'" If the series' pro-abstinence stance was something Woodley disagreed with, she managed to use her blossoming career to let the world know this was the case, admitting, "'I lost my virginity like seven times on screen.'" Shailene Woodley has admitted that she occasionally enjoys dressing up for Hollywood events. She told Interview in 2013, "'I get to be like a five-year-old again, wearing my Cinderella dress.'" However, she's also complained about having to relinquish control of her wardrobe to stylists who disapprove of her personal style. While speaking to Who What Wear in 2019 about being pressured to wear one particular couture gown, she revealed that she's actually not a big fan of the happily ever after aesthetic, saying, "'I felt like a mannequin, like a fairy princess. I got on all the best dress lists, but it felt gross to me." Woodley's feelings about fashion eventually evolved, and she found a way to balance who she is with how she's expected to present herself on the red carpet. She told The Hollywood Reporter in 2014, "'I'm there for my boss, for my employer, so part of that comes with wearing the uniform.'" However, she admitted that she would much prefer to dress like a hippie on the way to the gym, complete with a pair of foot-shaped rubber shoes that got so mercilessly mocked when she rocked them at a Golden Globes after-party in 2012. Woodley used the fur over her footwear to shame her critics, telling Vulture, "'If people spend as much time thinking about the genocides going on in Africa and around the world as they do the shoes that actors wear to after-parties, the world would be a much more peaceful environment.'" 
Like many young stars in Hollywood, Shailene Woodley has fans who closely follow her career and personal life. But while their admiration and support help ensure that she thrives in the entertainment industry, she doesn't really understand why they behave the way they do. She told Marie Claire in 2014, I don't pay any attention to the fan thing, because I think it's a very strange culture nowadays. I can't relate to any of these girls or boys who scream. It's idolizing someone you don't know. Speaking to Flaunt, she revealed that she was never that passionate about a celebrity growing up. Woodley fears that fans who approach her and ask for photos might use the images to misrepresent their relationship with her, so she usually declines their requests. She told Glamour, "...in all reality, you didn't meet me. And now, all of a sudden, on Instagram, your story that you're telling the world is that I met Shailene Woodley, we hung out, and now here's a photo of us?" She revealed that she consoles disappointed fans by hugging them instead, but they don't always respond politely when she turns them down. Woodley explained, "...some people just cannot grasp the idea that I rejected their ask or request for a photo." If they try to snap a picture without asking her permission, she told C Magazine that she will demand that they delete it and tell them, "...I feel violated, and that was inappropriate." "...You've been watching me for years and you don't know anything about me." It didn't take long for Aaron Rodgers to move on with Shailene Woodley, after people confirmed a split from professional race car driver Danica Patrick in July 2020. Per Us Weekly, rumors swirled that Rodgers and Woodley were an item that same month, and Rodgers revealed that they were engaged in February 2021. Woodley had previously dated Ben Valavala, a professional rugby player, and it seems as though she wasn't looking for romance when Rodgers entered her life. She said in an April 2020 interview with the New York Times, "...I've chosen to be single for a while." Before she started dating Rogers, Woodley had liked a few of Patrick's social media posts. The two women even interacted on Instagram, and Woodley snapped a selfie of what she looked like after participating in Patrick's online fitness program. It's unclear if the two women were close friends or just Instagram acquaintances. Still, according to the gossip site Therese Owens, an anonymous source made an unsubstantiated claim that Patrick is the one who introduced her ex to Woodley. Again, this has not been confirmed, but according to Page Six, Woodley, Rogers, and Patrick have all consulted the same astrologer, so they seem to share the same social orbit. It looked like marriage wasn't written in the stars for Rogers and Woodley when they ended their engagement in February 2022 for People. Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers' jet-setting romance was met with disapproval from critics who believed that the couple wasn't taking the COVID-19 pandemic seriously enough. When Woodley and Rodgers attended the Kentucky Derby together in May 2021, Sports Keaton noted that no one in the group they were with was wearing a mask. Vulture also pointed out that the couple flew to Hawaii when state officials were cautioning people not to travel there. Their excursions faced further criticism after Rodgers admitted to being unvaccinated. In a February 2022 appearance on The Pat McAfee Show, he apologized to Woodley and others for the the negative attention they had received for his actions. I never wanted to be divisive in, in this whole thing. I really didn't. While Rogers got fined by the NFL for going maskless around reporters, per the New York Times, he and Woodley did wear masks when they filmed a promotional video for Disney. However, there's one mask Woodley won't be caught dead wearing. Her shady side might surface from time to time, but it seems that no amount of criticism will keep her from being her authentic, free-spirited self. She told The Hollywood Reporter, "...I really don't feel there's any need to put on a face or be anything other than who you are, because otherwise it's exhausting. It's really hard to keep up with the lies or the fabrications or the mask that we put on out of self-preservation. The only person that ends up coming back to haunt us is ourselves." According to E! News, Shailene Woodley and Aaron Rodgers fumbled their reconciliation attempt. In April 2022, a source told the outlet that the actor and the athlete were done for good. The insider placed the blame on Rodgers, saying, "...Woodley quickly saw that everything was on his terms and nothing was going to change." Unfortunately, in some fans' eyes, Woodley had irrevocably damaged Tourette by dating the quarterback in the first place. On Instagram, one of her followers blasted her for seeming not to care about Rodgers' controversial decision not to get the COVID vaccine. The commenter wrote, "...you've shown who you really are." and that is a phony. I used to admire you, now I just pity you." As reported by People, Woodley later shared a cryptic post on her Instagram story, writing, "...grief expressed out loud for someone we have lost, or a country or home we have lost, is in itself the greatest praise we could ever give them," says writer Martine Prechtel. Grief is praise because it is the natural way love honors what it misses. It's uncertain if Woodley was reading about grief because she missed Rogers, but in 2014, she told Marie Claire, "...I don't even know if humans are genetically made to be with one person forever." In other words, Woodley's belief that she could happily settle down with Rogers was diverged from the attitude she used to have toward monogamy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.